I feel the need. The need for speed. But they don't say it that creepy. Oh, so. that was creepy? I mean, it was like, I feel the need. Like, Whatever, lady. Demons. We watched uh, Top Gun with uh, Tom, what's it, Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer and Tom Sirik, Meg Ryan. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. It was good. Um, I don't know. First of all, it just has like that like 80s feel. Like it just looks kind of 80-ish, so it's kind of cool. Um, I enjoyed the storyline. He did not. I mean, there were a couple of good action scenes with the airplanes, but other than that, it was kind of cheesy. Like Tom Cruise's character is just like, whatever, get over yourself. What? I'm what? sorry, what? what? <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just turn the camera this way and it'll be Stephanie reviews Tom Cruise's body. No, not his body. What? He's just, he's good looking. Like he's good looking for like a, a mid 80s movie star. He's a little off his rocker now, so I can't um, buy into the hype that is Tom Cruise today. Yeah, just go Google uh, Tom Hanks' Oprah interview. Tom Hanks? Or Tom Cru oh, Cruise. Oh, I was going to say, I missed yeah, him. Yeah, Tom Cruise. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's a little too wacky for me today. But, I mean, when you're talking about, like, an 80s movie, um, Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, I mean, they were, like, the 80s, like, heartthrobs. Yeah, I guess the movie ticked all your 80 boxes. Yeah, it definitely did. Um, so. The only thing that we were talking about that I don't know if I buy is the is the lady. Um, what's her name, Charlie? Yeah, she looked like, have you ever seen... Um, was it the time machine where the guy goes back and there's the aliens with the big heads and the really big eyes? If you look at that, those creatures and her, then they're like brethren, well, like I, from the same family. I personally wouldn't go that far. Um, I just think that she looked a lot older than him and it wasn't super believable that he is going to be into her. He gets all the ladies. He's like super ladies guy. And then he is drawn to her. Um, well, maybe he's got mommy issues. I don't know, but why do you keep going in weird directions? Who? You. Well, you she's know? older, he's younger. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know he if that He doesn't normally was, go for those type of women. But I don't women. know if that was supposed to be, like, the like the feel of it, but that's no? definitely the way I felt, is she just looked way older than him. Um, the other thing that was weird is everybody was always all sweaty. I know, we tried to Google it because people were just sweaty all the time. Like, they, like, come out of, like... The air condition sweat. So I, I Googled the airplane, it. Sweat. So I Googled it and they said that in the jets it's not air conditioned. So like they have all that um, equipment on and then and it's very um, they said it's like very athletic to fly jets like that. Like you like it's very intense. I feel the same way when I drive in Orlando. Yeah, right. But um, the people inside the buildings were all very sweaty as well. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just like normal sweat. Like, oh, I have a drop of sweat dripping down me. It was like their whole face was like covered in sweat. It was just weird. There was probably people that their main job was in between takes was to squirt. squirt them, make them like, sweaty. no, Tom Cruise, get down. <laughs> I don't know. Bad Tom Cruise. Dang, I could have applied for that job. Oh, yeah, when you were like kidding. five. Yeah, I wouldn't have been old enough. Um, the other thing we thought was weird is the famous volleyball scene. Um, like, Tom Cruise is wearing jeans. Geez, like, who wears like, jeans? Seriously. But he did have a date later, so maybe he was just trying to like, Yeah, it, so he played like four games of volleyball in the sand and got all sweaty and was like, yeah, hey, we're going to go take a date. I'm going to go ride my motorcycle and put on this furry bomber jacket and go take a date. And then when I get there, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> I've got to take a shower. <laughs> she said no. Um, so. Yeah. So that was interesting. Um, cheesy. It, it's super cheesy, but I mean, it's just mindless and it's interesting to watch. Um, I liked it. So tomorrow is Three Men and a Baby. So that'll be interesting. Another yeah. cheesy 80s movie. Oh, which me and my sister watched it all the time. So I'm sure I'll have a lot to talk about with that one. Um just because I like it a lot. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to watch that one. Um, but yeah, I was, of course, reading behind the scenes um, on this movie. And there wasn't anything. Oh, there was sad. It. One of the stop pilots um, died in a plane accident mm -hmm. while they were filming um, one of the stunts. I guess he flew into the ocean or something. Um, like the plane malfunctioned and he flew into the ocean. So that's sad. That is sad. Um, but there wasn't anything else that was like super. Oh, the the scene in the elevator. Um, 
with the two of them it was shot way after so she's wearing a hat because her hair is a different color in it oh. um and then they don't show the top of his head like the whole scene is like him from here up because his hair was longer for another movie he was in as well Interesting. Um, yeah so like those are things you would never pick up on if you didn't know what you were looking for but but if you I watch this stephanie will give you those tidbits yes any useless trivia that I can... I'll tell you what, Who though, needs to stump the Schwab? Stump the Stephanie. i tell you what, though. This, um... The IMDb trivia section was, like, the longest I've ever seen for a movie. Wow. Like, it went on and on and on and on and on. Um, and a lot of it was, like, technical stuff about, like, the Jets and stuff. But I filtered through that for the interesting stuff, which is the people stuff for me. Um, so, yeah. So, overall, I give it two thumbs up. I thought it I was good. It a thumbs up for the action. The but. music was good. It's just, you know, predictable. It's a feel good. I mean, most of it's feel good, I guess. Poor I, Goose, yeah, but. with his wife, Meg Ryan. Oh, it was sad. Mm -hmm. And then she told him, go fly. He would go fly, fly without you. <laughs> That's what she told him. Yeah. He wouldn't like it, but he'd do it. Yeah, he would. So, yeah. All right. Oh, well, that's it. that was Top Gun. Oh, and other news. Uh, Osceola County finally has its official stay-at-home order starting tomorrow at 11 p.m. for two weeks. Two weeks. So we've already been staying at home um, for over a week, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, we just go to the grocery store. I work from home um, right now, so that is working nicely. So um, it's not that big of a change for us. Um, but the other thing that we did decide is we're only going to do these video reviews on a weeknight. So Monday through Friday. <laughs> I know your heart is broken. Um, We've got a ton of other stuff that we want to watch too. Yeah, so, so we're going to watch The Lion. Um, the, the, the Lion Guy on Netflix. Yeah, so I listen to a podcast. I listen to a bunch of podcasts. And I listen to a podcast all about this guy. The whole focus was him. Um, and the podcast was nuts. So it's going to be really interesting to see these people in person. Um, because they just all have really crazy stories and just the things that surround it are just really interesting. So um, if you're watching it, um, let us know. Um, In the comments, Maybe yeah. we'll talk a little bit about our thoughts on that because it's just <clears throat> crazy. He doesn't know anything about it, but uh, I've already listened to the whole podcast and know the whole backstory. But again, it'll be really interesting to see these people in person. So, Plus a couple other movies came out, like The Hunt, and I want to see that. So, And there's like a whole bunch of like pandemic and contagion movies that – somebody put a list together so i want to watch some of those. we did um when this first started we actually watched outbreak we with, did. with dustin hoffman and the little monkey that gives everybody Is the killer dustin hoffman? yeah mm -hmm. oh okay and um, uh with the little monkey so yeah i mean you know what else are you gonna do so this Hey, go in and on the comments after you subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment and tell us which was your favorite character, but you can only use their call name, like Maverick, Iceman, Viper, Goose. Well, I don't even think people know their names. Well, Maverick's name is Pete. I don't think I ever knew that. If I did, I definitely didn't remember it. Um, but yeah, his name is Pete. I was like, Pete? I don't know. He just doesn't look like a Pete to me. Pete Mitchell, um, wasn't it? Yeah. Pete Mitchell. And I, oh, another fun fact. Oh. Um, it was supposed to be Evan was his original name was Evan um, in the movie. But then Pete was, it, he was named after somebody. Maybe it was the guy who died. I don't remember. Um, but they changed his name to that for, um, to honor someone that was part of the filming. To honor so, Pete? Maybe, yeah. Well, go in and leave a comment with your favorite uh, character by their tag name. All right, we're All long right. tonight. And this is not super interesting. So. All right, everybody stay safe. Stay safe. Bye. Bye guys.